I experience a lot of uh, different reality in my dreams. For example, like I was visiting a house which was on the border between Afghanistan and America. And it's after I moved to New York, like four years ago, or three years ago. So it's very multicultural. And also I had also had a dream of uh, being a uh, resistant, like a terrorist in 1940s in Korea. And I was like a suicide bomber at the time in my dream. I traveled to Japan to bomb like a place or a city. And I was, you know, looking out the window in a train ride. Um, I was going to die and look at the look at the landscape. It was so beautiful. So that became the motive of my first video that I made in this method. There was a certain experience that I want people to experience through my piece. And I want to give them uh, freedom in terms of interpreting the scenes or the models and video, but I want to put them in the situation, like like in my dream, for example, that they cannot get out of. I'm glad I'm starting from my my brother's dog in Korea. His name is Mung Mung. It's a grumpy little old dog. Uh, what he does is always looking out the window all the time. And then I saw him doing it one day, and I was thinking like. God, this, this guy is thinking about something and we just think that he's an animal, so he doesn't have any philosophy or life or any ideas, but I realized that he was thinking of something because he was doing it for hours. So I decided to include him in my video and also I had a dream of him. I killed him in my dream, which was really a horrendous experience for me. This scene is based also on my dream that I uh, had a dream of a giant spider in my apartment and then it was attacking me, so I started killing it with a two by four. And the head fell off. And so I kept moving, so I kept killing it. And at the end, the spider told me, like, I'm already dead. Stop killing me, please. This one is also based on my dream and my reality, actually. I was being attacked by a man under the staircase, and people were just passing me by without helping me. So I was really mad at the time. So that's coming from that dream, but also the squirrel on the bottom of the under, like under the uh, staircase was in my room. I was living in East Phyllis, and then uh, my apartment was on fifth floor. And scare, uh, a squirrel was living in. I mean, a squirrel was staying in the bed while I was, while I was sleeping. I make sequences or narrative based on my dreams, but also based on reality. Like sometimes from news, sometimes my the things I experience, sometimes from novel, and I think this is also based on like a novel Alice in Wonderland kind of character. Uh, so it wasn't coming from any reality or any um, dreams that I experienced, but more like the psychology of how I felt at the time. They are actually making love or doing something like humans do, although they are different species, like this is a lamb, this is a goat. So this is like based on my imagination to make a fable. A lot of themes are recurring in my dreams. The spaces are recurring, like animals are recurring, like plants are recurring as well. So he's one of the elements of recurring dreams to provide like kind of dreamy experience as well while they're watching the video. And the second one up top of the Mong Mong's bathroom, the deer's head, which is gonna fall off actually. If you see the stick, that's how people move the uh, move the uh, the head and animals and stuff. So it also it was also based on my dream. Uh, there was a deer in front of me, and it just dropped its head in front of me. This is the uh, video that I shot. Mm-hmm. 